Hey, hi, hello, and welcome to the show. Um, hey guys, it's Kira. Uh, how's your day, you know? Okay, so today I'm talking about jealousy and how to stop comparing yourself to other people because it is something that I need as much as I think everyone else needs to hear right now. So yeah, let's just jump in. Okay, jealousy, comparison the thief of joy all good things all things that run in this head 24 7 crippling me and making it hard for me to breathe why the crazy part is like everyone knows not to do it like everyone knows that you're not supposed to compare yourself to other people because it's gonna mess up your head and it's gonna make you feel shitty all the time but I can't stop I don't know I don't know about you but it's just like this voice in your head that like won't shut up <laughs> and you don't know what you're doing wrong or what to do to like silence it. So I'm not going to sit here and pretend that that voice doesn't exist for me because it definitely does but I have quieted it down quite a bit so I'm just going to share some ways that I've been able to do that that have worked for me. So the first thing that I do when I have a jealous thought in my brain is you have to, well first thing you have to do is you have to recognize that everything that is said in your head, it's not all you. It's not, it's not true, you know? It's not your true self talking about your true self because your true self knows yourself and you know how great you are. But, or you should. It's another video. It's, it's the outside sources that have found their way into your subconscious and are now attacking you so you need to be able to separate what's real from what's not in your brain so just think of it as like angel and devil on your shoulder or like I don't know just the evil bitch in your head you need to recognize her tone of voice her accent the pitches the tones in her voice and you need to be able to identify that and separate it from what's actually real and what's actually your voice and what's actually you. If you see someone walking down the street and you say, oh my god, they're so much prettier than me, they're so much better than me, damn, I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish, that's not you. That's the, that's the little evil guy on your shoulder, okay? That's not you. So the first thing you have to do when you hear those thoughts is recognize that they're not you and recognize where they're coming from. And you just need to say, that thought wasn't me. That thought was my insecurities. And that thought's not true. In doing that, you give it less power because you're acknowledging it. And you just need to acknowledge that it's false in order to kind of disable its power. Just think, that's not me. That's the white male capitalist who made the Carl's Jr. commercial telling me that I need to be blonde and skinny. That's not me. That's not anyone smart. That's not anyone I should be listening to. That's not anyone who knows me or has any truth, you know? Just like acknowledge where it's coming from and the fact that it's completely false and it will help disable its power. And even though the thoughts might keep coming, it's kind of like instead of something that's in your brain and you're believing that is true, it's like you hearing an outside conversation and you taking it with a grain of salt, some of the things you hear are true and some of the things are not. That is never true. In doing that, in acknowledging what like oppressive structures have made you think that way, it kind of makes me love myself more because I know that I'm necessary. Like my face is necessary. I know that people will benefit from having a face that looks like mine because there aren't a lot or there aren't enough anyways. There's not definitely not as many as the white faces, and I can be helpful, you know? People of color are definitely underrepresented, and I'm a voice that's trying to change that. I'm a face that's trying to change that. I am grateful for that, and I'm grateful that I have that opportunity, and that I get to kind of be a part of this movement, you know? And I don't want to trade that just to look aesthetically pleasing, you know? Like, I would never trade that. Because when you think about it, like, you might see a model on Instagram, you might see Meredith Mickelson on your timeline and think, oh my god, she's so beautiful. Like, she is beautiful. That's... I'm not taking anything away from her, obviously. 
but like, does the world need you to be another blonde skinny model? Or does the world need a brown face with a brain who shares ideas and tries to help people? Um, who's also a dancer and likes to influence people that way? Who is a creative? Like, you can't, and that's another thing, you can't like compartmentalize yourself. Like, you can't be like, I am this, 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 this. And I wish I could switch this out for that and this out for that, but still keep these parts. That's not how it works. If you're gonna be someone else, you don't get to be any of you. You know? So everything that you love about yourself, all your talents, you won't appreciate that if you're someone else. Like, it's just such an unrealistic fantasy. It's so irrelevant. Comparison is so irrelevant. Because not only will you never be that person, you're just hurting yourself. You probably don't actually want to be that person. Like, you probably will enjoy the experience of being you. Um, because who you are and what your passions are, you have work towards that your whole life. You just need to view yourself as a whole package as opposed to, oh well, I like this part, but oh god, I wish I had this. The other thing is, like, physical appearance matters about 60 or 70 percent less than everyone makes it seem like. Because when I think about it, all of my favorite people aren't like classically beautiful or handsome or whatever. The people that inspire me, I don't like them because of how they look. I like them because of their personality and their message and like what I'm getting from them like energy wise. I don't like it because like they have like cute hair, you know, like it's just so, it's so shallow, but we let it become so deep in our heads. People obsess over it and people get surgeries and pay all this money for it. And it like super doesn't matter. Like when you die, people are gonna be like, oh yeah, that's the girl with the nice boobs. Like it doesn't matter. Like you will not be remembered. Okay, you know, there's the handful. So there's obviously models and like movie stars and stuff like that. But like at the same time, they have substance as well. Like you can't just be, you can't just be a pretty face ever. Like. They might be a pretty face with a lot of presence to go with it, and then that combination works for that industry very well, but there needs to be substance for it, anything to work. So the substance accounts for most of it, you know? Um, so like, work on your substance. At the end of the day, if you're gonna be remembered, it's gonna be for like, helping people and influencing people in a positive way and just, you know, not not for the way you looked, because it's so arbitrary, like it really doesn't matter. And you just have to be you and like, be like full forced you, like you cannot be scared. I think of the people that I am super inspired by and they're all just like crazy, like aggressively themselves and it's just so awesome. Like, for example, I'm really into Tyler the Creator, like he's so successful from just like not caring at all about what anyone thinks like ever and it's so working for him like it's the most inspiring thing ever like he wears the craziest stuff and I'm like oh my god that's so cool like if you you can wear a paper bag and just like believe in it people will believe you you know like people will appreciate it and like respect it you know like, there are always those people that will judge you but they don't they don't know what's up like they don't know what's going on like they don't get it and that's okay. Not everyone has to get it. Not everyone has to get you. Like, honestly, if everyone gets you, like, you're not doing enough to be yourself. Because if you're full of yourself, people, some people aren't gonna like you. That's just how it is. And you need to just accept it and keep being you. You know, it's cheesy, but I guess we're all lactose intolerant because no one's ingesting it. No one gets it. No one's taking it in. It's still trying to please other people and trying to get likes and it's just so frustrating and so sad that people don't love themselves for who they are and it's so sad that I feel it like I feel it being pressed on me too and it's like so much pressure to just like look a certain way and act a certain way and you just do it if you just think every time you have a thought like that that's not me that's capitalism you won't listen to them you know that's the sexualization of women in the media talking in my head right now you'll probably be a lot less likely to feel affected by it because I won't let myself be affected by that bullshit, you know, like, or I don't want to and I'm working on it. 
it'll help you disable the comparison and the jealousy and get on with your life and keep being you and working on you and working on your substance and working on contributing to the world as opposed to someone's Instagram feed you know like because when you when it goes down to it it's so ridiculous like I don't know how we get caught up in it because when you when it comes down to it you're like damn I really want to look good on a beach in front of some water in a bathing suit on someone's screen why like it doesn't matter it's so irrelevant like just talking it through now has already like helped me like that voice is about to be so quiet in my head once I turn this camera off like it's so ridiculous I am mad <laughs> um oh my god it's crazy what we let get to us you know I mm, and it's crazy how powerful all of that stuff is and you know like it's not our fault like it's no one's fault that they're insecure and comparing themselves to other people like it's ingrained in our society and it's just hard you know it's in the water um but just like how powerful it is is just mind-blowing but if you start to acknowledge it and be like oh that's that bullshit that I saw growing up on the screen in the Carl's Jr. commercials every day like that's what that is that's not me that's not anyone worth listening to you know that's some bullshit that's all it is you just gotta that's some bullshit and move on with your day and keep being you okay <laughs> what you gotta do is you gotta be able to appreciate someone else's beauty while still acknowledging and accepting your own um so like if you see someone wherever it is if it's real life or Instagram and you're like damn they're beautiful just be like yeah but so am I you know it would suck if no one looked like you you know like it would suck if you didn't exist just like appreciate that you have a body okay that works and that you can breathe and think and uh, you have a beating heart and a brain like just appreciate that and be so good with that because Physical beauty just it doesn't matter and it's not real like it's everyone is so valid in their own skin like everyone matters like, Humans cannot be compared. Yes, you might look different, but the world needs different like we do not need more of the same thing we need to be pushing difference into the norm to make everything better. I'm sorry We just don't need more white guys running the world. We just don't need more of that I need to see more commercials with black people of all sizes, and not just black people, all people of color, all people who aren't white. White people are great, but so is everyone else, okay? Everyone else is great too. So can we just put them on the screen? Like, can we put them on the screen so we stop doubting ourselves? If we see, start seeing more diversity and we start seeing all these different kinds of people on the screen then the comparison will probably start to dissipate in our heads because we'll be like okay well there isn't one type like clearly there's not one type everyone seems to be great everyone seems to be on this screen but when you only put one type of person on the screen it's the standard you know it's the norm there you go when you put one kind of person on the screen it's the norm and everyone else is just like okay well what the heck you know um but if we had all different kinds of people all different colors all different sizes doing all different things like maybe the Asian men can be selling the Swiffers for a change you know black women can be selling the really nice cars if we just stop putting the idea out there that you need to be a white man to have this standard of success and then you need to be a very extremely attractive hot white woman to get that man's attention and also that's all you can strive for you can't have his success and then everyone else is just left to shit like if we could get that out that would be so great for everyone everyone like everyone could just stop comparing themselves to everyone so this video got a lot more intense than I thought it was going to um but I think it's all valid so <laughs> whatever you know it might be kind of long um, not sure yet but thanks for watching um, like subscribe share comment 
tell me what you think in the comments. Um, yeah, if you have anything to add, definitely put it in the comments. Yeah, but I think this video is probably really important, so share, okay? Um, yeah, thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.